So a week ago I posted a video solving some of these voltage drop problems in this circuit and I want to post a uh, fix to one problem. So a lot of this still stands VDA and VAD is VAD is if I put the red of the multimeter on A and the black on D, I am measuring VA to D and there's no current through this resistor and there is no current through this resistor. So really VAD is minus three volts. VDA, if I switch the voltmeter, then VDA is three volts. So this, this still stands and I recommend you try this in the lab with the AD2000 or uh, uh, with any power supply that you have, what happens is usually with the AD2000, the, the three volts that it supplies is already hook, hooked up to ground. But um, if you put two resistors in, don't uh, put anything on the other end of the resistor, so these are open, um, that should still work. So then you can put a voltmeter there or you can use the AD to measure that voltage drop. So VAD and VDA um, work. V12 to one, uh, 12, that means I'm putting the red here and I'm putting the black here, I think, minus V1 maybe. So when I am handling, uh, not handling, trying to find V1, that's the problem or V1 two. The problem in the circuit is that there is a closed loop here. So the loop that goes around H, O, four, and seven, this closes it. So I had not noticed it. I thought everything was still open. Um, and so this resistor in particular that was part of my path, I assumed the current was zero and it's not. Um, this resistor here, the current is zero because it's open. Also this resistor, the current is zero and this resistor. But these two here, I don't think I used the one on the left side. This resistor here between H and Y and this one between the minus the minus five volt battery and the seven node seven, these two resistors have current that is not that is not zero. And therefore, let's say for the current I assume the current going to the left, there is a voltage drop here that's different than zero. So I cannot necessarily find the um voltage drop between one and two without assuming some voltage here. So I'm going to show you how you would go about if this is uh, a question on an exam and you notice this resistor here is not open, which is not, how would you go about finding V21 and V12? So let's do that. I'm going to shift this a little bit to the left side. Um, and I'm gonna attempt to choose, am I gonna attempt to use a green color? I found these pens here. Um, so I had already posted a video for, for these. These here, I have the feeling V12 to one is incorrect. And there is a chance there's more incorrect here. VX12, I, I don't know. So. For now, let me try V1, V1, 2, which is V1 minus V2. And I'm going to use the same method, which is starting on the positive. And I'm thinking the one is my positive. I'm going to go down here. So for this resistor, for sure, the current is zero. And therefore, this voltage drop here is zero. So I'm not going to count it. But then I need to come to two. So and there are two paths to go V1 to V2. So I can go the green path. I'm going to make here a green dotted line. That means I'm going to go through this resistor here and through node seven, then six, then five, then four, then O, and I'm going to come node three and two. So this is the first path. Later, I'm going to change color and go some other path. And I'm going to call this R7. And this guy I'm going to call RH. Of course, I'm not going to use RH right now. So let me go V1, 2 this way. Zero 
And now there's a voltage here, and I assumed the current going this way, so there's going to be minus the voltage across R7, and then plus 6 minus minus 7, minus 8, minus 7. This resistor here, because it's going, the, if there were a current, it would be going into node 2, but node 2 is in air. I'm going to say 0, and the voltage drop here also 0. So I am done. 7 minus 7, 6 minus 8. So what happens here, it's going to be V12 will be minus VR7 minus 2 volts. In the next video, I'm going to do V12 the other way, but uh, through this other loop.